In this container, I have copper and aluminum. What could I do to separate this mixture so that I could have the copper and the aluminum in two separate piles? Take a minute and discuss that with your classmates and be sure that you can explain your answer. When you're trying to separate a mixture, it's important that you understand the physical properties of the materials in the mixture. Copper and aluminum are both metals. They're both really good conductors of heat and electricity. They're both more dense than water, and neither of them is attracted to a magnet. So because they have such similar properties, it can be difficult to separate them. One thing that's very different between these two things is their color. So because they're different colors, I can pick them apart with tweezers or my fingers pretty easily. And if I want to separate this mixture, it's kind of what I have to do. So there you have it. There's all the aluminum, there's all the copper. So I'd love to hear what solutions you and your classmates came up with. Keep up the great work, and I'll see you next time.